Grab All rocks. right. When it comes, <laughs> somebody I heard is, okay. <laughs> when it comes to the barbecue, what do you think of? You usually think of steaks and that, yeah, but there's yes. some alternatives, some yummy alternatives. And I love, well, I love the taste of it, but I'm too afraid to do it myself. Andrew yes. Bucket is here. How do we properly barbecue fish? I'm spitting already. I'm salivating. That's okay. I know. <laughs> people don't thought. usually think of fish. They think of burgers. They think of steak or chicken. So yeah. I want people to get comfortable with cooking seafood on the grill or when they go camping. So I've got three great recipes for you today, okay? Shrimp right. burger, Raj. Have you I know. I was, I was over the moon with that one. Okay. So I'm going to show shrimp. you. We've got some shrimp burgers here on the barbecue. Yep. They're really easy to pull together. Uh, one bowl and uh, this recipe serves four, so you're going to have about a pound of shrimp in your bowl. You simply just chop it up. Devein it. No, you just buy it devein, Dina. Oh, yeah. Okay. Welcome Come to the on. new age. Okay. Come on. Okay. All right. Uh, a few ingredients that go in. We've got some egg to bind it, of course. Some green onions, some really you know natural flavors that go with the shrimp. Some parsley and Dijon. Get that in there. Um, Dijon mm -hmm. makes everything better, tangier. Now, classic seasoning for seafood, Old Bay. Okay, everyone's got a uh, probably. Old Bay. Yeah, everyone has like this in their cupboard. I'm <laughs> positive of it. Bay. <laughs> yeah, it's got some great flavors in there for seafood. It's great for anything here, really. I'm going to tell you, Andrew. I have never seen this in my life. Come on, everyone has that in their no. cupboard. No. No? No. Well, Salt, spices, mustard, right, back, red pepper. Back okay. to the shrimp. Nice. I get it. Sounds yummy. Yeah, it's perfect Old for seafood. Bay. Old Bay. It's classic. Okay, got it. Okay. Right. Um, you stir this up. You form them into patties, and then you're going to put them in the refrigerator and let them sit so they have a chance to set and before you put them on the grill. To okay? bind. How long? Uh, about 30 minutes. Okay. But I have to say, this is we use frozen shrimp here, and my go-to for seafood is either wild or farmed, but it has to be sustainable. I'm really Me encouraging too. people to choose sustainability when they're when they're buying seafood. Really important for yes. the environment, right? Is there a way to choose between the two? It doesn't matter. Um, well, if you're looking for wild seafood, you're looking for like a like little blue fish. It says MSC, and you know that it's certified. It's also traceable because there's lots of food fraud out there. Mm. Different fish are being sold under different yes. labels. Yep. Mm -hmm. So MSC is a really good label to look for. Look for the blue fish. So important. I'm yeah. with you on that 100%. Okay, so then you set those on the barbecue. Okay. And then once they're done... <clears throat> how, long, how long on the grill, Andrew? Oh, gosh, about maybe eight minutes, four minutes per side. Okay. You know that shrimp Quick. cooks really quickly. Okay, we're going to talk about picnicking, because picnicking is great during the summer. Yes. Uh, this is a picnic poke bowl, and for this, we're going to use a wild sockeye salmon. So, Dina, I'm going to get you to assemble this. So, you rice, quinoa, <laughs> whatever your base. Yeah, rice, quinoa, barley, you can use whole grains. Then we're going to use the wild sockeye salmon. People are intimidated when it comes to packing fish for picnics, because they're afraid something might happen and might go bad. Of course. Bad. How well, do you it's the same thing that. with any type of meat. You want to make sure it's well chilled. You want to make sure you have a freezer pack. You see right there, Roger, we have yep. a nice freezer pack. Make sure it's chilled down, and you're not going to let it sit out in the sun for like, you know, very long time. Right. Take it out, enjoy it, right away. put it back in the cooler and go, okay? Yeah. okay. Roger, I'm going to get you to make up a little dressing for our poke bowl here. Right. So in there, you already have some balsamic vinegar. This mm -hmm. is canola oil, a nice neutral oil. We love to support our Canadian farmers. So canola it is, pour that right in there. All right. And then the rest of it, we've got some honey, some soya sauce, Sesame Am I seeds. flavoring the taste or the whole thing? Just put the whatever you want, Roger. Oh, wow. We're gonna put whatever. you in your pick, Roger. You're, you're gonna make right. me eat it. It's, it's my picnic. It is your picnic. Teddy bears having the picnic. <laughs> So you can pre-make these at home and take them in the jar, or you could take your ingredients and then, for instance, this is a great way to pack grains or anything that's soft, like carrots or cucumbers. Pack them in a Ziploc bag, and then they lay flat, and it's easier to stack them. Oh, I see. So it doesn't get mushy, you mean? It, exactly. And look at all the layers, guys. You eat with your eyes, and yeah. isn't that beautiful? You oh, pour it gorgeous. into a bowl, or you just pull the dressing on top and give it a good shake. And it's it's customizable, right? Everyone can make their own, so you can put whatever flavors you want in there. Pickled ginger, you say you love, love that. Love ginger. Yeah, so that's a great thing to Don't do. Don't you love ginger? It's the only time I choose ginger over Marianne. Hey! There it is. Bye -bye. You're looking down, Joe. <laughs> that jokes, that jokes. That's it, Roger. So then you can pack that and take it with you in your picnic basket, and then you can top your salad with it when you're ready. Yeah. How about okay. another picnic basket, Bucket? Okay, <laughs> let's talk about. Okay, so this the, is the like a clam bake. This I've is never amazing. Been to a clam bake in my life. This is just mussels, Dina. Oh, a clam bake mussels. would be like a whole other uh, segment. Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> we should do that one day. Has anybody here ever been to bing, a clam bake? Beach blanket, bingo, and all that too. You yeah. got to dig holes. You got to like yeah. put the core. You know, it's a okay. it's a whole it's a thing. thing. It's a thing. So this is just mussels and what I want to say is it's easy to do this over a campfire you don't have to do hot dogs and marshmallows what we've done here is we put our canola oil in the pan some garlic some ginger Thai mm. curry paste it's easy to grab already pre-made put it in there put your mussels in cover it and then let them pop open and it's a delicious thing to enjoy under the stars with your friends I have to say I never used to eat too. mussels and now I'm all about them I get it yep it takes a while sometimes it's an acquired taste and you have to try it a yeah, couple of times it's fun you pick them out you get a little baguette you, nothing like the baguette with all yes. the sauce yeah tricks to mussels Rod Julie yes. knew this if they don't open toss them out when you toss cook them if they don't open if they're open when you get them toss them out and right. if they don't open when you cook them 
toss them out. Exactly. So look at them when they're fresh. If they look like this, obviously you're going to toss them. If they don't close when they're fresh, you're going to toss them. Thank After you. you cook them, if they don't open, you're going to toss them. Cheers oh. to healthy eating, sustainable, happy summer, guys, and local food. <laughs>